Members of the Word of Life Church told police that the counseling session was called because the 19-year-old Lucas Leonard wanted to leave the congregation. Lucas died from the beating that police say may have lasted more than 10 hours. His younger brother, Christopher, was also assaulted and remains in the hospital in serious condition. He is awake and talking. Now, Lucas's parents have pled not guilty to manslaughter charges. Four other church members, including the teen's half-sister, are charged with assault in this incident. I can state that uh, the investigators have confirmed that there was some type of a cord used to strike these uh, two boys throughout the assault. We still have not concluded why the session turned so violent and are continuing to investigate other underlying issues. Well, happening right now, our Sarah Beth Ackerman joins us live from the town of New Hartford Courthouse, where four of the accused appeared in court today for a hearing. Sarah Beth. Today's felony hearing just wrapped up only moments ago, and the judge has decided to push this to the grand jury. Both Bruce and Deborah Leonard walked handcuffed with their heads down as they made their way into the preliminary hearing. Inside, we heard testimony from investigators as well as Daniel Irwin, who works at the Word of Life Church. Irwin said he was working in the church the day the spiritual counseling session turned violent. He testified he saw Bruce Leonard repeatedly strike and beat his son Lucas about three to six times. He also recalls hearing Lucas shout. He described what looked like a belt to beat his son, but police later confirmed it was a cord use. During the investigator testimony, we learned that Deborah admitted to striking her son with a cord and even demonstrated it to investigators during an interview. She's not guilty of manslaughter. That is, I don't think that she inflicted the injuries that killed her son. There were other people involved, and that's something I, I want to get into. It's a very nice community. This is not what our community typically sees. Um, and honestly, you know, I mean, this is not, this is not normal. Both Deborah and Bruce Leonard had her, their heads down in court the entire time the hearing was going on. At one point, Deborah even grabbed a tissue to wipe away her tears. We're now reporting live in New Hartford. I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. So much for the story. Thank you, Sarah Beth.